as you know the stars and in season three episode four of the strain we see in this scene that they basically devise a plan to create rat poison to poison the Strigoi. he explains here the rat poison is a blood thinner now when you see a scene like this it just seems random but listen now this was blocked worldwide immediately upon upload so i'm not going to be able to play in these clips but what he says here is this rat poison is essentially a powerful blood thinner then he says these creatures are blood processing machines and they should be highly susceptible to systemic damage she then asks him do you think this will work and he says it works on cats dogs and even us if the dosage is right so it's a delivery mechanism the tanker becomes a delivery mechanism just like the balloons were a delivery mechanism and i'm going to link this all back into the nasa balloons how does this have anything to do with the nasa balloons casey because rat poison is coumarin it is the name after which coumadin the blood thinner is named in low doses it helps people to thin their blood when they have heart problems it occurs naturally in plants including in the cherry blossom tree and in fact germany has outlawed coumarin which is normally added to tobacco to give it flavor and germany has taken that out they have much lower cancer rates for lung cancer and one of these people called out the tobacco industry in america jeffrey weigard weigand he's charging a form of rat poison was in the tobacco he held that from a chemist's point of view coumarin is an immediate precursor to rodenticide which is true coumadin which we just told you rodenticide being rat poison he stated that coumarin itself is dangerous pointing out the FDA had banned its addition to human food in 1954 so it was banned in human food but not in cigarettes he repeatedly classified coumarin as a lung specific carcinogen in Germany coumarin is banned as an additive in tobacco do you think that's why they might have lower lung cancer rates even though more people smoke in Germany than in the United States so it was found that coumarin actually caused tumors in the lungs of rats. Yes, tumors in mites, lung tumors. This is in your tobacco smoke here in the United States. It has not been outlawed yet. So why are we talking about coumarin, Casey? Because the cherry blossom tree was the name of the balloons that the Japanese launched into the United States using the jet stream. Operation Cherry Blossoms at Night. Remember, cherry blossoms contain coumarin. It says right here. It is the very last line in the cherry blossom Wikipedia page. The leaves contain coumarin, which is toxic in large doses. This is rat poison. And this is why the Japanese named Operation Cherry Blossoms at Night after the poison that they would spread to the United States. Now, fortunately, the poisonous balloons never reached the United States because we dropped the bomb first. But that was their plan, was to spread bubonic plague, cholera, and smallpox. We also had confirmed reports of some of the balloons that were dropped that actually had bombs on them that kill people and though no plague balloons made it to the states here are all the confirmed sightings of the balloons that did make it to the west coast and central part of the united states that were bombs that actually exploded in which people died their plan was to prepare a long distance attack on the united states Cherry blossoms at night, and it was finalized in March. They loaded uh, plague-infected fleas. They wanted to fly them across the Pacific o Ocean, launch them out of submarines in San Diego. The plan was to release biological weapons against America. 
They considered releasing 200 pounds of plague-carrying fleas at the Battle of Bataan, about 150 million insects in 10 separate attacks, and in early July 1944, during the Battle of Saipan, when the war was turning against Japan, plague-infested fleas were again intended to be used against American combatants. However, the Japanese submarine carrying the fleas was sunk by American submarine swordfish. Then in 44, they did succeed in launching 9,300 incendiary and anti-personnel bombs. We just showed you the map on that. Carried by balloons, which were designed to rise 30,000 feet, swept eastward by the jet stream to the continental United States. Six people were killed in Oregon. And the nuclear reactor cooling pump was blown up at the Manhattan Project's product facility at the Hanford site. We heard that come up. This is real. So now we have a direct connection to the, the balloons dropping plague to the Strain TV series, giving us a clue as to what they plan to do. And after further examination of the episode, God help the United States. Here at the Cherry Blossoms, this is real. As he puts the rat, remember, that's rat poison, into the snake cage with the cobra. And in the background, you see the cherry blossoms. Now, there's no need for fear. We already have salvation through the Most High and Yeshua. Again, we can't play any of this for you because it was blocked worldwide. But he says 2,000 of our brothers in Philadelphia were killed. Philadelphia is home to 2,000 flowering Japanese cherry trees. Half of which were a gift from the Japanese government in 1926. Now in order to understand the importance of the cherry blossom tree and why the Japanese would name this operation after it, we have to look at the history of the cherry blossom tree. Now this is pretty fascinating because this tree is actually indicative of Japan. In fact, the people have a practice where they have tea underneath the blooming flowering cherry tree. They had lunch and drank sake under these cherry trees. Every year, the Japanese Meteorological Agency and the public track the Sakura Zensen, which is the cherry blossom front. It is like a war front. Move northward up the archipelago. As the weather starts to warm, they can see these blossoms starting to bloom from south to north. They would hold flowering parties. And they actually built, they actually constructed the school year around the blooming of these trees. This is a big deal for the people in Japan. Symbolized, uh, the cherry blossoms symbolize clouds due to their nature of blooming. There's all this starting to make sense. The jet stream, clouds. It was an enduring metaphor for the ephemeral nature of life an aspect of Japanese cultural tradition that is often associated with Buddhist influence. During World War II, the cherry blossom was used to motivate the Japanese people to stoke nationalism, militarism. Even prior to the war, they were used in propaganda and inspired Japanese spirit. They even compared the dead soldiers to cherry blossoms. This was all about the kamikaze. This is how they got them inspired to fight. They would even paint them on the side of their planes before going on suicide missions. It symbolized the intensity and ephemerality of life. Sacrifice of youth. That's what the cherry petals falling to the ground represented. And the government even encouraged people to believe that the souls of the down warriors were reincarnated in the blossoms. And it was seen as Japan claiming occupied territories as, as Japanese space, as these blossoms would 
blossom across the country. Almost like seeding. Now here's what's interesting. The United States was given cherry blossoms as a gift by the Japanese. When I read this, I couldn't believe it because before World War II and after World War II, and when I, after I just explained to you the cultural significance of these cherry blossoms and how it represented kamikazes and seeding other areas and Japanese expansion, you have to ask yourself, what does all this really mean? Along with Japan's plans to use bioweapons on the United States. So anyway, that just about wraps it up, you guys. These are cherry blossoms. Many, many cases of Japan offering many, many trees as gifts. In New York, D.C. You can't make this up, you guys. Take care and be safe.